Actually, no. Why would a drill have... No, you just gotta... Uh, why would a drill have cutting... Oh, so I guess larger diameters. So I'm gonna keep that 115. So the feed rate looked like it was too slow. So I'm gonna take a look at the... Um, well, I'm going to do both. I'm going to look at the contour first. The contour is something that we call profile um, in other CAM programs. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 60 inches per minute. We need to make that 120. Do 115. 115? That's what we usually use. Okay. For our typical files. Um, lead in should lead be in. the same. 115. Lead out. 115. Uh, ramp. 115. Plunge feed rate, what do you do? Like 80? I think, yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure. All I right. Think so. so, feed per revolution. Okay, that's all. 10,000 RPM, that doesn't matter. Okay, so our feed rates, we're going to do 115. That's good. Okay, now let's do the. Could, uh, could you modify the, the finish pass? Or does it stay within the same uh, feed rate? That's all the same, yeah. Okay. That's kind of interesting though, because you want to go faster on a on a finishing pass. Let's see if we can do that. Passes. How do you determine the second pass? How to, to begin with? There's no feed rates for that. Um, right here, finishing smoothing. Okay. And then roughing is. Uh, see, deviation right is point zero right three. It says finish feed rate. Oh, cool! Look at that. Okay, so what do you want to do there? One forty. One forty. All right. It says it's. It's red, so I guess my ma it's going more than my maximum. Warning, the finish feed rate is higher than the cutting feed rate. Okay, Which so... Which is okay. That's what we want. Yeah, but... I think these are maximums. So I think we need to look at uh, roughing feed rate and then finishing feed rate. I think I'm going to keep this at 115 for now, just until I learn more about it. Um, I don't see anything else that would allow us to increase it okay so cutting feed rate let's see what it says feed using cutting moves so we have to okay so that's your limit i guess we have to go the limit and we can't go over the limit well okay. obviously if you do go uh, even if it appears to be red what does this it allow you to save it on let's 140 see. what is it it's it is a warning it is a warning so let's see it says a warning so let's go ahead and press ok and see if we get yeah do you want to ignore the warning? Say yes. Can you see the simulation? See what yeah, happens? let's do that. Uh, let's play it. It may be restricted to 115. I'm not sure if it's showing us feed rate here. It appears to be the same speed as the other one. I'm not sure if it's showing sp speed though. It should. Yeah. Let me stop it and then I'm going to increase the feed rate for the whole thing and see if we get a change in feed rate. We still have to do the drill, by the way. Let's make this cutting rate, feed rate, 300, just to see what happens. Let's do a simulation. Now, it shows the same feed rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, simulation doesn't show feed rate, so... Does the uh, simulation has any options? So it uh, could have, uh, like, an accurate mm -hmm. timing? It just, says, it just shows the feed rate. Can you modify the feed rate? No. So the machining time is 1 minute 39 seconds. So at least it tells you that. So if we if we um, in decrease the feed rate, it should change that number. The timing? Yeah. Right. Yeah, let me, let me change this back to 115. Okay. So let's simulate. Uh, play it. Let's look at statistics. Yeah, two minutes and 13 seconds. That makes sense. Okay. So we can actually close this and we know that it's going to work at least to 115 inches per minute. Do you want to change the finishing to 115 or you want to keep it at 140? I'm going to keep it at 115 for now. Did you change it? Yeah, I changed it back. Yep. Okay, so now the drilling needs to be changed. So the feed rate should be 80, right? Oh. Actually, no. Why would a drill have... No, you just gotta... Uh, why would a drill have cutting... Oh, so I guess larger diameters. So I'm gonna keep that 115. And then the ramp... Yeah, that's fine. 
And then the plunge should be 80, right? So let's press OK. Oh, and also the depth. the depth for passes, or the... Uh, um, uh, depth increase. Yeah, the chip break. It was a depth increase, so pecking, the minimum pecking depth. I'm going to make that uh, 0.4. Okay, and then pecking depth, I'm going to put this 0.4 as well. I'm just going to make it 0.4. Okay. All right, so let's do one more simulation just to make sure everything looks good. Two passes. That's mm -hmm. it. Well, it showed this before, so Two I passes? don't. I don't trust. Yeah, it, it showed the same motion in the previous simulation, so I don't want to assume that it's going to uh, do it correctly. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna. We'll call this number one. Uh, no, uh, faster. Okay, so we're going to post it. Yes. All right, let's go try it again. Wow, this is a short program. Oh, you know what? We just did the drills. We need to do both. That is something that we're going to have to really remember is to have those both selected or maybe just highlight this. Maybe that works. I kind of like that, though, because then you, if, if you create a, uh, different, different files within that same uh, mm -hmm. design... Yeah. Then you can just do whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of going through the whole. Then you have to, yeah, you have to make sure you do your profiles and stuff on each part. This, uh, what I'm doing is I'm oh. mixing them all up. Okay. But yeah, that's that's a good point. All right, so let's do both of these faster. Post. Save. Yes. So we should have a much longer. Yep. Good. All right, let's go try it. So do you feel any ledges at all? Oh, it's perfectly smooth. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay.